Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on our Meteor Defense Coordinate 2 game. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games, teaching tools, and fun games to play and use, and there's never any membership or sign-up required, and they're all free to play. Okay, let's take a look at the game, and this is called Meteor Defense Coordinate 2 because this is a remake of the original one, which was in Flash, that uh, does it no longer plays on most devices, and uh, this particular d version plays on any device um, that where you can have a uh, browser. So it's going to play on most devices. Okay, when you start the game, this is the menu you'll see, and this is a coordinate grid game. So if you want to find it, if it's not on the first page of MathNook, then go to the uh, there's some text links that say play our games by category, skill category, something like that. There's a bunch of text links of the skills, and one of them says coordinate grid games, and you click that, and it'll take you to the page with our coordinate grid games, and this game will be on there. Okay, when you on the main menu, if you click more games, it will take you to our sister site, LOF Games, and it's very similar to MathNook in the fact that you don't have any membership or sign-up required, and the games are free to play there, and they have lots of math and, and uh, fun games to play that are free. The video button, if you click that, it will take you to this page. I'm sorry, it'll take you to the page on MathNook that has this video, in case you'd like to see that again. Instructions, I'm not going to go over the instructions, but I did want to show you that if you click this Reset High Score button, it will reset the high score back to zero. And you might want to do that if somebody else has been playing or you've got a high score and you just want to start over again. You'd go ahead and click reset the high score. You'd click yes if you want to or no if you didn't want to. And click that button. Go back to the main menu. I'm going to go ahead and click play. And you'll see the meteors. It takes a little bit of time. The first, this is the first level. If you can see here, score zero. This button will take you to the main menu. This will toggle, this button will toggle the music on and off, and this will toggle the sound on and off. This is where you set the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. I should say X and Y values. And the fire button will click, will fire to wherever you have. And you saw that I, it's at zero, zero, and it goes right now to that coordinate pair. Um, if you want, if you need any help, you can always turn the grid on and off. There's really no limit to the amount of missiles you have. And there's no time limit, but you, what uh, you have to do is protect the cities. Each meteor, if it comes down and hits a uh, one of these cities, it will basically destroy the city by cracking the uh, barrier here. And so the game is over if you get uh, th three or more cities destroyed. And you can tell in the first level it's very slow. Um, and you've got a lot of time to shoot as this and I'll go ahead and get this one I'll show you what I mean in just a second so I'm going to go ahead and plug in it's at, it's at 5 across and 7 up and you'll see that this bar starts filling up once it fills up it will move to the next level so at level 2 you're going to have 2 meteors and they go a little bit faster so really it it Unless you're just uh, beginning at this, and even if you're beginning at this, you'll have plenty of time to get the meteors. However, later on, as the levels increase, it, it becomes a little bit harder uh, because, like I said, there's more meteors and they're a little bit faster. Uh, let me go ahead and just click 5. You, and I'm going to go ahead and 7. I'll go ahead and plug in 9. And you, know, you got pretty good uh, leeway on how close you are to the meteors. Okay, I'll go ahead. I'm going to, in the video, I'll go ahead and show you um, what level 2 looks like. And then we'll just conclude the video. But you can see how you play here a little bit. And even with me doing the video, it's not too hard to to do the video and, and uh, progress through the levels. On the lower levels, I should say. Because right now, I really don't have to change the Y level too much and fire that again but later on you're gonna have to as they come down faster you'll have to change the uh, X and Y coordinates so what I do later on um, 
is if, say, this city has was already destroyed, it looks like this meteor is going down, possibly to this city or possibly that one. But if I knew both of these were destroyed, I really wouldn't worry about this meteor. And I'm going to let it get all the way down because it'll explode when it hits down here. And uh, so if these two were gone, the strategy I would use, I would focus on any meteors that were over here or over here. Wouldn't really care about these two because the city's already destroyed. I'm going to go ahead and take this one out. It's about five, seven. And actually, you can get both of them. Sometimes if I'd have sent one right there, it may have got most of them out. Again, I'm going to let this, really the only thing left in the video is you can see how it destroys a city, and it'll show you. Uh, you'll see how, what the city looks like when it's destroyed. So really, if you've uh, just come see how you how to play, and you know how already to play, and you're not really interested in seeing it explode when it hits the bottom on impact, then you can go ahead and close this video out. But, like I said, I'll wait just because I'm pretty much through. Um, I think I've shown everything that there is to see. Go ahead and turn that grid off. And, like I said, you've got plenty of time in these first levels. So it's really a good practice or teaching tool where, you know, somebody can, you can, like I said, there's no reason that you can't fire multiple times. The only thing that... Um, you lose is you can't once one's firing you can't fire another one that's really the only thing happened and one meteor it's not going to take out two cities it will take out the closest city that it hits to that it hits and you can see that's cracked and you see the color went away so that city's destroyed now i can lose another one and i'll be okay but when i lose the third one it's going to say game over the game over panel is going to come up and it will show me my current score and then the current high score uh, the best high score or the best score that I have so far uh, after resetting it or starting the game uh, from scratch. So that's basically how you play the game. I uh, hope the videos help some. I hope you have fun playing and thanks for watching.